Hello, Internet Sister Root. I recently encountered the Children's Joy Foundation scammers. Yes, that is not a legitimate charity I just mentioned. If you look it up, they may have created a website in the past year or two, and a Facebook page, and a Twitter handle, and so and so what. They are not a legitimate charity in Canada at all. They only exist in the Philippines. That's the legitimate charity over there. There's none in Canada. And recently, I encountered them trying to sell chocolates to people. Uh, the cheap kind of shit they buy in the store. And uh, here's the fun part. They go bent and scuffed. And they're carried in a loose they carried loosely in a fabric bag, not branded. They tried to deceive me that they were the Girl Guides of Canada. Uh, they didn't have the actual uniforms and, uh, or Girl Scouts, whatever you call them. And last I recall, they don't go door to door selling chocolate. They only are stationed in a specific area. And then they changed it up. Like, these scammers were not even consistent. The two Filipino women, short, 145 to 150 centimeters in height, average weight, between 30 and 40 years old. Black hair, using black coats. There, I just gave you the description of them. It's pretty easy to tell. No, they weren't wearing glasses either. So, anyways, I demanded a registered charitable business number. Any charity that really exists and legitimately exists would have one of those. And here's the funny thing. They didn't have it. And I asked them, what charity are you fronting for? They couldn't tell me. And they were asking for a big red flag. Cash donations. And you know what I told them? Legitimate, real charities do not ask for cash donations in any part or any form. And they were very pushy. They kept asking if I wanted to buy chocolates. And, oh, it's for the children. That was a red flag for me because I knew it was for the bogus charity called Children's Joy Foundation. Yes, I just mentioned it a second time. So, I immediately told them no, and they kept asking. They put their foot in the door, and I kicked. No, I didn't kick. I said, move. And I started yelling, you are not a legitimate charity. You are a bunch of scammers. And you know what? They immediately walked away and kept looking back. And I followed them down the hallway in my apartment. I exited and followed them down the hallway. They tried to close the exit door, or the fire door, but they couldn't because they didn't realize they had to pull much harder. And uh, they also pestered at least 20 other tenants in the building, knocking on everybody's door, asking for cash donations for the children regarding that earthquake and then a change of subject that volcano and then that recent landslide yeah, some of those information is literally a year old or a year or two old and you know who actually provides help and relief for those situations canadian and american red cross and other legitimate charities and other religious organizations that actually help people not leech and scam or breach anyone's trust Yes, I just mentioned a line in the Criminal Code of Canada. Breach of trust. That's what they're doing. The one relating to charities. So, I followed them out. And I called them out and denounced them. Because no legitimate charity in Canada asks or requests for cash donations in any way or form. And, yes, I just mentioned this a second time. And, uh, they quickly left the building... Walked down the driveway, it was cold out, and I was in my t-shirt, and I was, I didn't have my coat on, and uh, I didn't bother getting them on video, which I should have done. And not to mention, when I was going to snap a photo of them, they quickly ran. Really fast. And no, contrary to what you may think, I did not swear at them, I was not violent or intimidating, I simply called them out, and, uh... Mentioned that to everybody else that was walking into the building that they are known scammers and not to and to call police if they encounter them ever again. And that's already been done. They took off down the driveway into their car that was parked on the street and they drove off. I don't know what their car looked like. It must have been a black vehicle. 
I don't know what kind of vehicle it might have been. No fucking idea. Although, I've actually seen the same women in Tim Hortons and other places. They go from plaza to plaza, mall to mall, apartment building to apartment building, house to house, door to door. They're not legitimate at all. And I was chatting with another resident who also got approached with them. And they were very pushy. Very pushy. And I mentioned this in two closely tied neighborhood groups on Facebook, obviously. And on social media in general. And I wasn't the only one who encountered them. At least a total number of ten in the area have encountered them. Maybe more. Maybe those who were actually working and they weren't home to encounter them. So, here's the good thing. I denounced them and I called them out and they fucked off like a bunch of scared rabbits. That was it. I normally do it politely and I don't even swear at them. I just raised my voice and just denounced them. Here's the exact thing I said, and I'm not going to shout it. Legitimate charities do not ask for cash donations. And that got them to run. They bolted. There was two of them. One of them was knocking on the west, the north side of the hallway. The other one was knocking in the south side of the hallway. And it didn't take long for them to regroup and get the fuck out of there. Now, if there was security in the building, they would have essentially barred them. If there was police there, I would have let them know immediately. And they probably would have caught them before they got to their vehicle. But unfortunately, those two scenarios didn't exist and I couldn't get them on video. The cameras in the building, unfortunately, I doubt they've retained anything for more than 24 hours. And it likely got overtaped. Or overwritten, because they're all hard drives or solid state disks, you know. Anyways, I just thought I'd mention it. <coughs> Be aware of it. They're selling cheap, scuffed, or cracked chocolate bars. They're not Girl Guides of Canada, because they're in their 30s and 40s. And they pocket the change or cash for themselves, and that's it. They don't even give it to any legitimate charity. They pocket and keep it for themselves. Little selfish pigs. So, anyways, thanks for watching.